And as a former foreign minister, how do you see uh, the foreign policy of the Maldives? Okay. Um, before, uh, I think uh, during my father's time, we had maintained a very, very balanced foreign policy, if you will. As, as you know, we are in the Indian Ocean, and uh, even now um, that the government uh, says that we have an India first policy, and I think I myself must have repeated that uh, quite often, and India is a very close and long standing friend of Maldives. Uh, during this government, we have definitely developed our relationship with China. And that is, I think, not a surprise because we see this in many countries and there are many reasons uh, for that. I think largely because um, China is able to make some of the financing and other support that our developing countries require available to us. And there's certain expectations of our populations in terms especially of infrastructure. And even in my own country, uh, currently they are supporting helping uh, build a bridge and uh, you know now we see big projects like a new airport terminal, the new runway coming in, and these are positive developments. I think that will benefit um, Maldives in the longer term, which is why I think um, we have developed uh, the stronger and closer friendship. Now, many people have raised issues of um, are we able to pay back these loans? Are we going to fall into a trap where we are, um, you know, held because of the debts that we have? And as a former foreign minister, I strongly feel that sovereignty, our independence is important. So um, not just China, but any country, I think we need to maintain a respectful relationship. Definitely, we should have as many friends as we can, but we should also be careful not to compromise the sovereignty so that we are able to really make our own decisions as a, as a country and a people. And I think uh, for that, we have to be cautious, I think, and um, we urge all countries to be respectful also of our sovereignty and the decisions that our um, country uh, wishes to take or our people wish to take, but to be there to support us in our development and particularly not to compromise our democracy and our freedoms because you can have structures, you can have buildings, but ultimately I think human beings, they want their freedoms, they want their rights. And um, if you see an environment where these are being compromised, I think um, that is not something that is acceptable to our people. And in the longer term, I think that the quest will be to have a society which is respectful of that. And our past, uh, if we have anything to learn from our past, is to make sure we don't repeat those mistakes that we have seen and to move ahead from there so that anyone can live there with you know, the knowledge um, that they're not fearful that things could be unfairly kind of that they face allegations or accusations that you know everybody is entitled to free trial that they have rights that should be protected even while detained and even if investigated or even if on trial for uh, certain allegations so i think that is the wish that the Maldivian people do have for, for their future